Just showing you this setup that I have here, the stress test against overheating. I've got the ZV-E1 here, and here I've got the Sony a7 IV. They both have cooling fans on them that are kind of loud. This one is variable. It'll uh, automatically change its fan speed depending on the temperature. This one, there is one, but I set it to two just in case. So we're rolling on the clock here and it's currently roughly what? 78 degrees Fahrenheit, 20, 28, 29 degrees Celsius. I'm just rolling to see if or when these cameras will overheat. Both of the uh, mirrorless cameras are set at uh, 30 frames per second, uh, 42 10 bit. And I'm gonna just uh, close the door and hopefully it'll get hot in here. Check if the iPhone and also if the action cam will overheat or not. So I hope uh, the results are good. So these cameras have been rolling for three and a half hours now. No sign of any overheating at all. So I'm just gonna stop this. It's, uh, I don't think it's gonna overheat. I think I'm gonna have to redo this in a setting where the cameras are under direct sunlight and see what happens, so. Testing the cameras for overheating indoors was not really useful because nothing overheated, so. Now I've got the cameras outside where it is like 95 degrees. Let's see how it does in this situation. I'm gonna stay indoors in the air conditioning.